don't need to panic. Here's the great Luke Shaw writing in Jacobin. With the emergence of yet another COVID-19 variant, there's no end to the global pandemic in sight. It's bad news for everyone who hoped that 2022 might bring about a return to some kind of normalcy or see the end of the kind of restrictions and punitive travel bans now being reintroduced. It's decidedly good news, on the other hand, for a few big pharmaceutical companies who have already made a killing from vaccines and are set to reap big gains as variants like Omicron continue to proliferate. Moderna and Pfizer have added billions to their market capitalizations in a matter of days since news of Omicron first broke amid an anticipated demand for booster shots and, by extension, huge profits. 2021 has already been a banner year for the various pharma companies who have successfully made their brands synonymous with the distribution of vaccines. Pfizer's profits jumping some 124% in the first three quarters of the year when compared to 2020, and Johnson & Johnson's some 24%. What you see as well is Pfizer offering assurances to their shareholders that the year ahead will be profitable and positive based on the assumption that there will be continued continued uptake of these products. That's the problem with having a private enterprise of any kind involved in something on this scale. As lucrative business models go, Big Pharma's pandemic strategy is about as good as it gets. The mRNA type vaccines produced by the likes of Pfizer and Moderna were only developed thanks to billions in public funded research. And both companies paid well under the statutory US tax rate in the first half of this year. So the research that led to mRNA vaccines was funded by you. When it comes to paying taxes, they're given tax breaks so the money can't go back to you. When they make profits, the profits go to you. Did you see? Did you see the gravity and the magnetism of the situation? That's another thing that makes you query what's going on. With the encouragement, protection and cooperation of some of the world's richest and most powerful states, both have also overwhelmingly sold shots within wealthy countries, successfully charging as much as 24 times the actual production costs, resulting in doses five times more expensive than they need to be. As an actual response to a global pandemic goes, the big pharma-led vaccine rollout has wrought a completely avoidable humanitarian crisis that's quite rightly called vaccine apartheid by its critics. Until vaccine production formulas are shared and doses made widely available at low cost, we can expect a hugely profitable industry continuing to make a killing from it all. Do you know the question this leaves me with is if you're going to report on Trevor Noah getting some blowback because he made a joke about Moderna potentially profiteering and the pursuit of profit having some impact on the way they behave and conduct their business. Why, when it's reported on, are you not given the accompanying set of facts? Oh, we should probably tell you that this is how much money Pfizer have made. This is how much money is being accrued around these policies. This is how the whole situation works. If you're only given one side of the story, that's not just an accidental omission. That's the management of information. That is called propaganda. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this. Is Trevor Noah right? Do you think that both sides of this apparent political divide need to come together and demand truth and open conversation? Is that what you reckon? Give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you can hear me continually dinging in your mind. If you enjoyed this video, have a look at this saucy link.